a wobble in my walk and I'm trembling. joined us before welcome and for those of you who have been here before welcome back so we're starting a new term and uh, we're going to be looking at uh, little Willie John's classic I'm shaking for the first week so uh, we've made you guys a backing track and uh, you should have that now to play along with uh, I do recommend listening to the original recording it's got a lot of soul great tune so basically there's a few simple components that make up this track um, and the most important of them really is the riff everything centers around this this riff okay so for you guitarists and horn players anybody who's playing the riff this is how it goes um, guitarists I am tuned to drop D okay that just gives me the open bass string that I need because the original recording was in E so you would normally have an open E string we need that open string okay so let's just walk through the riff phrase by phrase here's the first phrase starts with the open A string okay Okay, and that phrase is answered by phrase number two. So that's bouncing off the fretted D note to the open A string. C, D. Let's put those two together. Okay, and the third phrase is much the same as the second, except we hit the A string twice. One more time. And again. Okay, so let's put all three together. And the last phrase. And one more time for that last one. We're starting on the note of F down on the next string, coming up to D, and then A, and then open D string. play this whole sequence together slowly and straight okay now the way I tend to play it uh, in practice is I put a little bounce in it and I kind of pull off this C note a little bit I'll demonstrate for you and uh, see what you think play it however you like as long as you play it in time we don't mind okay um, so now moving on that that would take us into the stops section and for that really for the guitarist you're just going to be hitting that open string so on okay um, sometimes for variation I added um, some chord stabs in there as well using the tremolo I might go excuse me something like that just to add a bit of variation and add a bit of drama to the piece you can really do whatever you like there um, suggestions, I mean you can play a D minor chord here, D minor chord here, or a high one up here, any of those would do. Um, 
Okay, now maybe we should take a look at how to play the simple chord stabs once the riff is finished and the verse kicks back in. So um, let's have a look at that with the backing track right now. pretty much covers it for the guitar part. Um, get the riff down, work on your chord stabs, keep it in time. That's all you need to do. Okay, here's a few thoughts now for the singers. So just a little look at the, the vocal part, if you're going to try and sing the song. As I said in my write-up, what I did with the lyrics, I just wrote them out and uh, I just took a red pen under the line where the downbeat lands. Okay, because he, he preempts the downbeat every time he comes in. So on the first line, he'll sing. When you touch my hand and talk sweet talk, I got a knocking in my knees and a wobble in my walk. I'm trembling. So if I clap where the downbeat is, you'll see it lands in the middle of each line, you know. When you touch my hand and talk sweet talk, I got a knocking in my knees and a wobble in my walk. And I'm trembling. Okay. So that's something you need to keep in mind when you're singing this piece. He doesn't always preempt it. Some of the other verses, for instance, the third verse, he'll sing. Early in the morning time, late in the middle of the night, etc. So he comes in right on the downbeat that time. So this is why it's useful to grab that, that marker pen or highlighter or whatever works for you and just have it written down as a reference for when you're learning the song to help you get that ingrained um, in your head how to sing it. Okay, have fun with that. It's a, it's a great song to sing and play, so enjoy it, all right, folks? Thank you. So, Jimmy.